Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Happiest Hour on Earth podcast. We're so excited that you are here. Tonight, we are going to be talking about D23, specifically the parks panel, and just our thoughts and, and kind of like our excitement level for each thing that was announced. There are gonna be some things that we left out, like I know Magic Happens is coming back. We've already had that show and they announced that it's coming back. Little things like that we aren't really going to discuss. Um, but we're so excited to talk about this. I hope you had such a fun time over the weekend uh, last week, just experiencing all the new stuff or semi new stuff that came yeah. out from that <laughs> panel. Um, we can't wait to jump into it. But before we do, we just wanted to tell you guys, let you guys know uh, about a little something that we are doing. We've done giveaways in the past when we have hit like a milestone on our Instagram and there's one winner and and you know it's all great and it's so much fun but right now we are going to be doing something a little bit different if you are listening to the show and you enjoy our show and you want to write up a little review on apple Podcasts and give us five stars then you could go ahead and screenshot that review it takes a while to go on apple Podcasts, so sometimes mm -hmm. we might not know right away but if you want to screenshot that and dm us that review uh you can get a little bit of Happy Star on Earth merch. So yeah. just a little something uh, just as a thank you, uh, whether that's a Happy Star on Earth shot glass or Happy Star on Earth sticker or button or something along those lines. Um, just a little, a little thank you from us to you. We just really appreciate you guys so much and we just want to give back. Um, so if you want to write a review and you haven't yet, definitely go ahead and uh, do that and let us know and we're going to give you a little surprise in the mm -hmm. mail. So anyways, with that, I think we're ready to jump in. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so before we get started on tonight's discussion, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce our drink. Yeah. So tonight we are drinking the Prickly Pear Vodka Cocktail. This yeah. is a seasonal offering at the Hollywood Lounge in California Adventure. So that means it's basically available for the Halloween season, fall season. Uh, um, we were saying we're not entirely sure what makes this drink um, <laughs> Halloween-y. <laughs> but, yeah. um, and no like cool name, just pretty yeah, pair of vodka they cocktail. They did not get like, super mm, creative yeah. in naming this cocktail, but yeah. um, it's like... It looks like it's maybe one of the more popular ones right now uh, at the Hollywood Lounge. It's high up on the list, so maybe yeah, maybe that's a good sign. It's very simple. I mean, it looks really cool because we have the light up ice cube. I think in it's here. The, light, the light up ice cube. That they're like that's that's Halloween enough. Like like just adding know. a cool light color to it. Yeah. I don't know, but it's literally only three ingredients, so it's very simple and easy to make. Um, it's literally vodka, prickly pear syrup, and Sprite. So you know what. If you want to make this for like a Halloween party, I would just say since there's prickly pear in it, make it like a Sleeping Beauty, like prick of the finger type Ooh. drink, right? Because it has prickly pear well, in it. Think it. And then do like do a green color instead of the pink that they yeah. do and make it like an Because pears are green too. There's also, yeah. I mean, I guess I think prickly, prickly pears, pears are generally green, I've never but. seen a prickly pear, but <laughs> I'm assuming they are red, I guess. Yeah, I think you know what? Red. I think I have seen a prickly pear. Yeah. Huh, maybe they are. Well, regardless, that is a much better themed. Wouldn't that be good cocktail than just literally putting a light up ice cube in it? The the spindle or something. Yeah. Ooh, I okay. Like that. Okay. They need to hire you to yeah, make their we... their Halloween cocktail. I could just name cocktail drinks at Disneyland. That'd be the best That'd be a cool job. Cool job. Oh yeah. I'll, you, I'll you're creative enough. You can do it. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and jump. try it. Cheers. Let's do it. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Very sweet. Yeah, very sweet. <laughs> I think I must have just gotten like a sip of prickly pear syrup. That right, yeah, is it right at the, the bottom? bottom? Yeah. Sometimes you Maybe need I'll to just... do a little spit. Yeah, a little swirl. You can go up a little bit. Okay, that was better. <laughs> I didn't go that sounds that tastes more balanced. Yeah. Yeah, I think everything oh, yeah. settled at the bottom, and I was just like prickly pear. <laughs> I mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Very simple. Nothing too exciting. Um, I can't say that I would necessarily pay $23 for it at the park. Okay, yeah. I did that see it was $23. The it's, they're usually like $16, but I guess a light-up ice, ice cube is like... Worth 
Almost 10 bucks? What is it? Like seven bucks? I don't know. <laughs> ridiculous. They are fun though to keep at home. So. Yes, we do have a couple. Although you can also buy light up ice cubes online. Just for FYI. Yeah. If you don't want to pay that much at the park for yeah. an ice cube, there's that option. But for sure. Hey, but it's good. It is a fun souvenir to have from the park. So for I get sure. that. So first off, we are going to jump into this, but before we go into the parks, um, another thing too, we are going to be just talking about the um, the U.S. parks because there were some announcements for the international parks. Most of them were things that we already knew about and they're just kind of like updates. So mm -hmm. we're going to be focusing on the U.S. parks. But before we do that, there are a couple of movie announcements. Um, yeah. And and the Once movie again. the movie panel, there was a, a lot, lot that we already we knew. knew. About. Yeah. So there was like a trailer or two that they released. I, I know that people who are actually in person for those panels got a little more footage, which is really cool. But for us outsiders, there wasn't too much new. Yeah. We did write three down here that did stand out to us and they might've been the only new ones. Um, maybe there's some new ones in Marvel and star Wars, but I think we already heard about yeah. those at star Wars celebration and stuff, but we'll so. quickly go through this. Um, the, th the third one is going to be, it really got us excited. Um, mm -hmm. But first up, there is a new Pixar movie called Elio uh, that will be out in 2024. This is like a sci-fi alien movie. And so pretty much Elio, maybe I'm guessing that's his name, is kind of like Earth's ambassador um, for the United Nation of Aliens, something along those lines. So um, <laughs> I'm sure they're going to have fun with a lot of the the design of the mm -hmm. aliens and it'll, it'll be visually very stunning. And um, usually Pixar, I feel like they have a very simple plot and then they're always going to expand and like have a lot of heart in that yeah. probably about how we should all just get along. We're all, mm -hmm. uh, we're all living in the universe together and something, yeah. which, which always tugs on my heartstrings, right? Always <laughs> so great. Um, the, the next step, I guess I could go mm -hmm. real quick too. Um, go through them. The next Disney animation film, uh, which will be out next November. I love how they always do them in November. I feel like Pixar's always uh, June, mm -hmm. and then uh, Disney's always in November, right at Thanksgiving. Good so this birthday is birthday present for me. Yeah, well, my birthday's early November, but regardless, still <laughs> so cool. Um, we're getting a movie called Wish, which is about the wishing star. Um, you know, the fabled wishing star that is in Pinocchio and probably some other. Other <laughs> Disney movies, right? Don't they talk yeah, about the wishing star? I, mean, I think, yeah, yeah. I mean, like in in uh, Princess and the Frog, they talk about oh uh, yeah, wishing star. It's just kind of a Disney thing. Yeah, I think for sure. And I'm excited about this one. I'm yeah, I'm kind of. I'm interested to know what they have up their sleeve because it's kind of like a. It's been around forever. I mean, yeah, an origin story. I of think Pinocchio that, probably was the first movie that there was mention of it. Yeah, I'm assuming it's going to be kind of like a. A Disney lore movie. Yeah. You know, like we're gonna explain the origin of the wishing star that has appeared in some film. Yeah. So that's gonna be really cool. I'm excited for that. We just got concept art for it. No like trailers or they're pretty much just like it's about the wishing star. And that was it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, Fun. cool. Um, <laughs> but the third one, this pretty is stoked. yeah, yeah. They dropped Inside Out to release, which um I know Amy Poehler came out on stage and she's reprising the role as joy i'm sure everyone else is going to be reprising their role as well yeah but i mean maybe we'll have to do an episode on this like just upcoming projects and what we think will happen on them but inside out too riley was maybe like 11 10 11 yeah somewhere so is there. it going to be i could see them either going through teenage years or flash forward really far mm -hmm. like she's either getting a first job or like going to college like yeah. andy or like just oh, a big yeah. pivotal moment in life and how mm -hmm. the emotions have aged and maybe changed mm -hmm. through that so um they can really do Very a lot with it but inside out is such an amazing it's film a masterpiece i know that they'll handle the second one with you know great care as well mm -hmm. so i'm excited yeah, to, yeah, I'm pretty stoked to see what they do with that one. When did they say? I don't think they said any out? any day, uh, any date. So I think it it's probably going to be like four years horizon. out or something oh like that. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's three, so four far. Years. Yeah, it's crazy yeah. to even like hear about a movie that is in the works that, that far in advance. Cause it's like I'm gonna forget about it before it even yeah. is anywhere near coming out. Yeah, because I know it takes about like four or five years to make a Pixar yeah. movie. 
So maybe they're just like in the very early stages. Yeah. Of yeah. Maybe pretty so. cool. Yeah. No, I'm excited. Pretty excited. So we're going to talk now about uh, kind of some of our Instagram followers excitement over some of the park things coming up. Or yeah. I guess I guess it was the, the way that we phrased our question was what are you excited about that was announced yeah. during D23? So we got a couple of responses. The first one was from Kayla from the Bucktails. That is the Instagram handle. She is excited that Half Labor After is coming back, which I think is probably pretty universal. I think yeah. everybody's pretty stoked about that. I love Happily Ever so ha- Happily Ever After so much, yeah. and I can't wait. The way they come back, how they started that panel with them like singing it with Jordan Fisher and um, Mm -hmm. the other singer. Can't I can't remember her name right now, but that was awesome. Yeah, to start out the panel. Yeah, it was great. So So uh, Brianna at Cran (laughs) Breezy on Instagram as well is very excited about that. Um, so we're we're pretty stoked to see that coming back. Yeah, definitely, It's, it's one of the best firework shows it, it's so magical and um when we saw enchantment we were just like how could they have replaced happily ever after with this yeah so sad because mm-hmm. happily ever after just moves me to tears both yeah. of us to tears like every single time yeah we watch it so we feel you uh kayla and brianna and so kayla sad. yeah that she does have that's her disney account page uh the bucktail so go give her a follow if you're listening to this uh she has great content on there as well yeah for um, sure but we also heard from a couple other uh a couple other followers and friends uh mm-hmm. it's lauren renee said uh the disneyland shows that will be coming to the parks for the hundredth years of hundred years of wonder celebration she's really excited for and then oh, yeah. philip rogers and just underscore shanna who made our amazing spirit jersey yeah w- with our logo and all of our artwork and everything on it so um, amazing. they said that the thing they were most excited for was just finally having an opening date for the Tron light cycle at Walt Disney World. Mm-hmm. Um, Finally. Yeah. I feel like we've all been waiting for that for I know, I thought it was going to be a bit. Year. Can't wait to ride that. Maybe one day we'll have it here as well. We'll see I know, here in Disneyland. Yeah. And we didn't even get any Tomorrowland announcement. But we'll yeah, be ta- we were yeah, waiting. We'll be, the yeah. whole time we thought that's like where it was going to end. Oh, actually. Okay, <laughs> wait. Like, real quick before we even jump into it. We'll go real quick. Um, going into D23. We both thought... There could be a Tomorrowland announcement because he was like, Josh Tomorrow was like, hey, we're going to come back to Disneyland. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, "Okay, they're going to save the best thing for last. Yeah. Tomorrowland refurb. I was also thinking um, we were going to get like a frozen type of deal, like as a fantasy land expansion, perhaps because I thought they were going to say frozen three, like during the movies panel, Um, because there's like three international parks, I think two or three that are getting frozen. And I was just like, okay, it Why had to be there. And perfect. yeah. And so there were a couple things that I really thought, I thought we were going to get like a frozen yeah. expansion and then a, um, Tomorrowland. Yeah. Refer, yeah. There nothing, was a lot. Yeah. I feel like I was kind of like holding out for more than what was announced to this D23. I mean, there were some good things, but I feel like we were both just kind of like, Oh, is it going to be something bigger? Like, yeah. like Oh, Something ha- something more exciting has to be coming. And it kind of never did. But yeah. it's okay. There's always next time. Yeah. <laughs> so For sure. Anyways, moving on, we're going to talk about the characters that are coming, which is really exciting. Yeah. We're going to start in Disneyland, too. Yeah. Um, and then we'll go over to Disney World. Mm-hmm. So we have Mando and Grogu coming in mid-November to Galaxy's Edge, which yeah. is super exciting i don't know why we're waiting till mid-november because it looks yeah. great maybe they just have like a few more tweaks they have to do maybe for, or um, they're just trying Grogu? to get the hype up for it yeah which i think there's already gonna be enough hype but yeah <laughs> we'll for sure see. but yeah i'm i'm super excited i think that star wars land has been needing this for a very long time um yeah especially it's cool because mando season three will be out next early next year mm-hmm. um but the thing is I'm thinking maybe they are pushing it out to mid-November because they're trying to work on logistics because you know there's going to be so many people lining up to meet them. And Star Mm -hmm. Wars Land really isn't about that, right? Like, 
usually the characters yeah. are just walking through and you just get a picture if you can. Yeah, but you know no, they're like, you need like a that's photo true. spot or something for Mando and Grogu. So that's going to be set something up, I'm sure. Yeah. They would have to. Yeah. They, they'll have kind of a designated area, I would imagine. Yeah. I I, I yeah, I hope so. And it's going to be really cool to see and I, I hope we get to see him soon. But yeah. the next character that we had at Disneyland was the um first Project Exo. So Project Exo was uh, this experiment that Disney was trying to work on, I think during last D23, so literally in 2019, to bring like larger than life characters to the parks. And um, they were working on it in 2020 or 2019. So it's been three years and we finally got to see one in person. Uh, so the Hulk, literally, I think in a few days by the time this episode comes out, will be in Avengers Campus. I was super shocked at this because the fact that Mando is just a person in a suit and that's not coming till mid November. But then this whole like project exo suit is coming in a few days. Mm -hmm. I was like, Oh man, that, that seems pretty quick. And he looked good, but he looked a little stiff. He looked a little, um, he kind of looked like Baymax. He was in the, um, he was in like the end game suit. I think they should have changed weird that. For me. Weird that I it was think in it's the super suit. weird. <laughs> when you showed it to me, I was like, that's supposed to be Hulk? Like, yeah. He doesn't look like Hulk. <laughs> the the <laughs> reason mean, why, and we like, I was like, why are they putting him in the suit? I think weird. what it is is that they, they were able to do the suit, but maybe they weren't able to, um, right? Because there's a person inside the suit, but he has control of the, uh, the Hulk's fingers or any, you know, exoskeletons. Uh, hands and the movements whatever he does they do but i think the mouth is something they haven't worked out yet so they're mm -hmm. just like put hulk in the um the end game suit and it literally cuts off right near the mouth and that's the reason why he's in the suit because they can't figure out how to move his mouth like you know mickey's does or something yeah. like that I get so it, I understand I guess, it. I wish they kind of just waited until the full thing was done because it's just going to be a weird scene. Yeah. Because Endgame is done. He doesn't need to be in the suit anymore. I know. Like, exactly. That's why I was uh, like, this is kind of dumb. Like, the whole point of Hulk is that he's like a huge green guy. And if you're just seeing him like in this thing, it's like, doesn't look like Hulk to me. Like, you know what they should have done? Had the Hulk, big green guy, but he's wearing a mask. For the like for the pandemic, COVID. just a huge He's COVID Hulk, <laughs> huge mask on there would be so funny. And it's like, oh, okay, still weird, it but still um, wouldn't make sense. Yeah, so that was even though I'm excited, like I thought it was kind of weird. Very excited for the opportunities here because you know we'll probably see like a Thanos at some point. We'll probably see some other big characters. I'm trying to think of big characters right now, um, <laughs> but we can see them whether it's Marvel or Star Wars, or um, or just Disney characters. You know, this gives us a lot of opportunities. So even though it wasn't like the best execution, mm -hmm. I'm excited for the opportunities here. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think it's going to be cool. I think I think maybe, hopefully in time, they'll get it to where it's actually looking like Hulk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Sure. Um, so next we're going to talk about rides. We did get some exciting news for some rides coming first up is princess and the frog which yeah. is going to be replacing splash mountain as we all know um and we found out it's going to be happening late 2024 so it's kind of interesting it feels like very far out very far for out. the fact that like they announced that the change was happening like is it like two years ago now yeah, it seems like it. it's been a long and time the structure is still like the ride's going to be the same. They just yeah. have to replace stuff. Yeah, exactly. It seems like a very, very long time to have that date set for. I mean, yeah. I really don't know how long the actual refurb would take. And I don't know when Splash yeah. is going to close for that Yeah, refurb. they still haven't announced, I, I think, a closing date, right? Maybe That's they're like, just trying to give people plenty of time. time to ride it because it is a favorite. Yeah, I think they're going to do a... I think they're going to... But the, the tricky thing here is, right, like, if you do an event saying, Splash is closing here, like, come and ride it before it's gone. Then... Then Everyone. people are going to be mad being like, oh, you're promoting. So <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like some people could get mad about that if it's not handled properly. Like if they're like, I oh, let's sell Splash Mountain merch. And then 
people are like, wait, why are you selling something that's not? I don't know. It's a tricky situation, yeah, but they are giving people hopefully some time to ride. Yeah, because um, it's a favorite. Splash. It's it's, yeah. it's been a favorite for a long time, and there's going to be a lot of people that want to get to ride it before it's gone. Yeah. I mean, just like, I'm fine with them changing it to um, Tiana's Bayou Adventure. I'm really excited for that. Mm -hmm. But I'm gl I was glad to ride it last trip because, you know, it's something I grew up with as a kid, the ride, not the yeah. movie. Um, and so, you know, there's a lot of scenes in there that. Yeah, we obviously are, love funny. it. The, the big bear butt. Always trying to, like, <laughs> yep. Push that is there's a lot definitely of scenes that are... going to be Lewis. I feel like they're going to have to just use the same animatronic for that, right? For the bear butt shaking? Yeah. You think it'll be an alligator tail? Shaking I think so, for <laughs> sure. I think it's very fitting. They're very kind of similar characters, it seems. Oh, we'll my see. gosh. With all those, like, thorns in it from the movie. Mm -hmm. Yikes, no. Nah. Yep. <laughs> I do not want to see, see that. That's going to haunt me in my yeah. Yeah, James, that's be a little, a little sketchy, a little a little scary. <laughs> but yeah, regardless, we are very excited for what is to come. So we did get to see like a model of what the ride is likely going to look like. Mm -hmm. um, we had gotten concept art at some point uh, in months past, and it does look a little bit different than we had initially thought. The concept art, uh, it looked like there was like the shipwreck where Mama Odie's house is supposed to be that was kind of like at the top of the drop that you yeah. hit. Like in Mama Odie's tree house that was there, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So um doesn't look like that is actually there, according to the model that was shown at D23. Um, Yes, it's going to be a little bit different than they initially thought, but I mean, it still looks really cool. Still looks really cool. Um, yeah, yeah. They showed kind of like a nighttime that is view of it. We were we didn't see that in like concept art, and that looks really really. Awesome. That definitely won me cool. over in terms of what it will look like because it is pretty beautiful. Like it's very colorful. I had mentioned when we were looking at it that it looks like it's going to be kind of our own little version of Pandora. Yeah. Um, in Animal Kingdom, because we don't, I don't think we have any other like super vibrant. I feel like in Tomorrowland nighttime. we get a little bit of nighttime lights, but yeah. Um, the cool thing is that on that drop, like on the actual drop, that's going to be all lit up with light, so it'll look like a very lit up blue drop, and then also mm -hmm. the lily pads around the area look like they're going to be lighting up and glowing. So yeah, like it is colors. going to look like a little mini, mini Pandora yeah, vibes, you know? I think so. It's going to look really, really cool. So we're excited for that. I'm excited to kind of see more as time goes on, as it gets closer to the opening of the ride, kind of what, what things are looking like. So yeah. I'm excited for that. And we also got the announcement that there will be a new restaurant a Tiana restaurant, which yeah. we have actually speculated about in the past, which is cool to see that maybe we were right about something yeah, yeah, yeah. in our in our um, guesses. So we're not really sure where that's going to be yet or if it's like taking over one of the restaurants that's there currently. Yeah. I'm not really sure what is going to happen. I would but... assume it's taking over one. But the, the interesting thing here is that like they said that uh tiana's bayou adventure will be in new orleans square yeah but they didn't talk about where that cuts off and where critter country will begin or if critter country is not even going to be there anymore they didn't mention that at all so i could see this either taking place you know at one of the the restaurants that's already in new orleans square and that just being tiana's palace or it could be at hungry bear and then that means New Orleans Square goes all the way mm. to like Hungry Bear and, and Tiana's Bayou Adventure. And then that I it I would be like cool that. at Hungry Bear because no. then it's right on the water. But yeah, I get that. But I just feel like it would make more sense being like in at New the Orleans French Square. market. Like yeah, one of yeah. those just fits that vibe to me more. I feel like it does. Like Hungry Bear just seems like it fits there. Like it seems so fitting for Critter Country. And yeah, if especially they, keep they change that, it to like Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. The Hungry Bear totally it's fits. Perfect. Yeah. So, so we'll they didn't see. mention that. I'm that's all I'm yet to be seen. Um, there's a lot that, you know, we don't know yet in yeah. terms of that area, I feel like. So Yeah. And then also the the thing that shocked me and you too is that they didn't show like any 
they showed animatronics for like Zootopia Land that's coming to Shanghai. Um, they didn't show any animatronics for this ride. I thought we would yeah. see like a little video clip of like, like something. Lewis or or even uh, Tiana. There was a video um, of a new Elsa animatronic that's going to be in one of the international parks, which is really cool to see. But nothing, nothing. on Tiana. I know. I'm, and I'm like, it's been in the works for a couple of years, couple you know, years. so I that know, was a like little bit of a bummer. Kind of there. We're just kind of like, OK, what's happening? Like, yeah. I think everyone probably was waiting to see what would come of that. In yeah. 23, but that's crazy. But um, it is. it's still exciting. Can't wait for it to happen. But yeah. um, next up, the other ride that we got news on in Disneyland is the third Avengers Campus ride. Um, so this is kind of new, kind of not. At the last D23, they announced there's going to be an Avengers ride uh, where the Quinja is. And... From the announcements that they have talked about and like also ride patents and things like that, it looked like there was going to be like everyone in a Quinjet from Avengers and then it was going to somehow like break off and you would almost have like a very personal interaction with probably a screen, mm -hmm. uh, but it was going to be very kind of flight of passage-y. Um, but this, what they announced, it almost seems like they had changed their plans a little bit because now this ride is going to be a multiverse focused ride. Um, mm. And this is going to be taking place in a multiverse where an original character, King Thanos, like a variant of Thanos, had actually beat the Avengers in that alternate reality. And so the Avengers are now needing your help to defeat him. Um, so it's going to feature a lot of characters, a lot that we have seen before, some that we haven't seen. And in the concept art, obviously concept art is not going to be... It, it might not actually happen this way, but it looks like the ride vehicle. Um, it looks like there's a lot of people together, like back to back. So it doesn't look like a row like Flight of Passage would be. Mm -hmm. um, but it looks like a lot of people in the same car. And that could either be like a roller coaster type thing, maybe a similar ride system to um, Guardians, uh, the new Guardians Cosmic Rewind, which I would... I would love like something that's not screen ride, but it looks like it could also be something like Star Tours. Now, if it's a screen ride, I would love it if it was like Flight of Passage because Flight of Passage is amazing mm -hmm. and I would be fine with it like that. If it was something like Star Tours, then that means Web Slingers and the Avengers ride um, would all be screen based mm -hmm. rides. And technically... Mission Breakout 2 is a yeah, screen ride, but kind of, yeah. it's 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 different, you know. So if yeah. we get something, if they did a roller coaster with like intermixing of screens for Guardians of the Galaxy at Epcot, then for the first Avengers ride, we should get something at least on par to that. Mm -hmm. So exciting, but also a little nervous. Um, yeah. But that's going to be the only like e-ticket original um, because obviously Mission Breakout's been there before the land even opened. So mm -hmm. hoping for good things. I'm a little nervous, but yeah, hopefully yeah. they put put a lot of effort into it because I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. I don't want them to cut corners with an Avengers ride. Yeah, know? I know, I know. I so. feel like that land is in deep need of like a new sick yes. ride. <laughs> so I really hope they do well. Deep, that is so true. It is in need of that because I've... I've never felt like compelled, like a heavy, you know, like I need to go on connection to that land yet until. Yeah. And Mission Breakout feels kind of outside of the it land. It does. So I'm like, oh, I need to go to Mission Breakout, feels... but I don't have to spend too much time in that. Yeah. Because yeah. it feels like after you walk past Guardians is when Avengers Campus actually starts. Yeah. It's just the way that they laid it out. It really feels like that. And because I guess it's always been there and it's always it's been always a part been of really, Hollywood yeah. land. That it just doesn't feel like it's actually a part of things there. But I don't know. I don't know. It's definitely in need of a big ride. Yeah, sure. we'll see what happens. It's it's kind of exciting, but kind of a little nerve-wracking at the same time. Yeah. But we also got some news in terms of lands within the park. So we're going to talk about a few of those. Um, Pacific Wharf in California Adventure is getting turned into San Francisco from Big Hero 6. Yeah. So... I feel like I kind of have mixed feelings about it. I don't know. I guess it's not like super. It's not really make or break anything for me. I love the Pacific Wharf. I just love that area. And I kind of have always loved the idea of it being. It's 
like a good rest stop. Yeah, yeah it's, like, it's, it's just a good spot to hang out. And I've actually never seen Big Hero Six. I we know. Need to change I'm sorry. That, guys. I, know. I know. I need to see it. I'm We've sorry. I know a lot for, of people love it. Oh my gosh! How like twelve <laughs> years in total? I yeah, I haven't seen it. I know. Um, it's it's ridiculous that I haven't. We, we'll we'll try to change that soon. Yeah. But so I don't have a lot of connection to that movie. Was my point in this? Um, and so for me, I'm kind of just like, oh, like. I don't. I guess I mean, San Francisco like still cool is idea, kind of cool like concept. California. I mean, I've always loved the wharf because it feels Very like San Francisco, yeah. and it feels like you know the Fisherman's Wharf over there and stuff. But yeah, um, but, yeah, I'm kind of indifferent now that, to this. I'm 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 fine with it. But I'm, yeah, now that Pixar you know. Pier has taken over Paradise Pier and things are kind of changing from the whole California vibe in general, just like IP everything. Yeah, yeah. So. Kind of makes sense, I guess. It's the only thing I'd be fine with, I guess. If they were going to change it, it kind of makes sense because, I guess. like, San Francisco has a lot of different, you know, culinary differences and, yeah. you know, a, a lot of variety there. And it's kind of cool that you could take that Route 66 to, like, the city, yeah. I guess, you know. Mm -hmm. But the only thing that's kind of weird is that San Francisco, obviously, is a city, and doesn't look like doesn't the Pacific look like Wharf. that. Exactly. That's what's kind of weird to me. And on Instagram, I noticed a lot of people and I feel the same way. Just being like, I'm fine with it. I just don't want them to change the food options there because everybody loves what is there right now. And has always been there. there. Yeah. yeah. Nice yeah. variety of foods and just lots of different options. So we did see in the uh, concept art for it that... Cochina Cucamonga was still there. Yeah. So we zoomed in. We're like, oh, we what saw, are the yeah, yeah. We're like, okay, like, can you actually see what's going to be there? So if that is accurate, yeah. If that concept art is true to what they're planning, that will still be there, which means I'm assuming the rest of them will be as well. If you think about it, they could have just had no sign there. So the fact that they added that sign of Cochina Cucamonga in there, that means that they. Are probably leaning towards keeping. I would imagine that yeah. they're planning on keeping things because it makes sense. People love those places. They're they're the favorites, and it's it's done perfectly in the sense that there is something for everyone. So mm -hmm. I don't think changing it in any way is going to be beneficial because there's such a good variety the way it is now. Exactly. So yeah, I think it'll so. stay the same. It'll just be kind of a different design and layout and you know yeah. should decor. be an easy overhaul too yeah it didn't look like you know buildings were changing there was going to obviously be that golden gate bridge thing that's going to be Which implemented there right but that there. should shouldn't take too long that all seems like a very so. quick turnaround i don't yeah. know when they're going to be doing that i don't think they announced any dates but i would yeah. imagine it would be a fairly quick turnaround once yeah. they start it and then you'll be able to meet Baymax there, which will be fun. Oh, um, it'll cool. be good to hug. But it's sad, um, like it's sad to think of it even being closed in that section for too long because I just yeah. love it so much. I hope yeah. it's I hope it's a quick, quick change when I do it. For sure. <laughs> um, so the other land news that we got uh, at D23 for Disneyland, and this is not, I mean, we already kind of knew about this, but Toontown, things I think that they announced uh, Donald's boat is going to have a splash pad, which Cute. might not be exciting to a lot of our listeners, but us uh, having parents? a kid. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's going to, it'll be so cool it'll to actually so fun. Yeah. The nice thing is about Toontown overhaul is that kids can actually go there and hang out as if it were a park and something that they're mm -hmm. really, that's what I love about um, the Redwood Creek challenge trail or whatever. Yeah. There's a lot of fun things that they could do to get their energy out. Um, but with this Toontown, there's going to be a lot of different cool activities. Goofy's house is going to have like a very musical kind of vibe to it. While yeah, Donald has the splash pad, which our son will love. The other mm -hmm. thing we got there, um, there's a, a few more concept art uh, for Runaway Railway. Um, it showed that the queue will include like some Steamboat Willie in mm -hmm. there playing crazy, um, which is that first short that Mickey ever appeared in. Um, and then Mickey's Christmas Carol. So we're going to cool. experience a lot of that in the queue, which I thought was really great. But other than that, there wasn't too much with Toontown, but just thought we would add there. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see how Toon Toontown turns out. I'm really excited for the overhaul. I think yeah. I think it it's going to be gonna needed be so for sure. Like I know for the families. Yeah. And I know that there was a lot of talk leading up to it about like 
should it just be gone? Like, should it just be, you know, not even a thing anymore? Which would make me sad. So you know, I'm originally that, before I had a kid, I was like, I nah, just like make it into Star Wars. Like if anything now was going to be taken away from Disneyland, it made sense that to get rid of it. But I think that the way that they're changing things is going to be really cool. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited to see it for real. Like, I yeah. think I think it's going to be cool. I don't I hope I don't have my hopes up too high because it might not be that different from what it was before. But I hope it is. I know there's yeah. going to be like a nice grassy kind of open area, which is going to be nice. Great Hopefully some kids. shade and like little yeah. sitting area or something like I would love that. Maybe more like food options. I don't know. That'd be cool. Like yeah. like because I don't think there's anything aside from that little like store next to Roger Rabbit and like the little photo spot. Yeah. Um, there's Claire not Bell's a lot of cheese options. and crackers. <laughs> Claire Bell's ice cream. I don't know about yeah. that. There's already a Claire uh, Bell's ice cream. I don't think they're going to do that again. But yeah. something. I don't know. I think it would be cool to have a little bit more food offerings and yeah. just places to relax. So I'm so down. We'll see. Yeah. I'm excited. It'll be cool. Yeah. Um, so with that. Oh, wait. No, I was talking about Toon Town. If you All right. Add. Well, I guess, okay. Let me go into, I guess, the next show. Mm -hmm. So next we're going to be talking about the new shows that are coming to Disneyland. Um, Wondrous Journeys, the fireworks show, will be coming next year for Disneyland. Um, so this is going to be for the 100 Years of Wonder, which is celebrating the 100 years that the Walt Disney Company has been mm -hmm. around. And so this is going to be featuring clips from all 60 or maybe even 61 animation films. Um, they might include Wish there, I'm thinking, too. Mm -hmm. Um and so there's a new fireworks show. I've loved the fireworks shows in the past. We heard the song as well. The first time I heard it, I was like, okay, the first time like it's ever been a folk kind yeah. of like very different vibe. For very sure. different. The second time I listened to it and um, was watching like the firework projections in the in the back, you know, of D23, I was feeling the vibe a little bit more. Um, I kind of like the more like musical like theme songs, but I do have to say, I think I was digging it more than like enchantment and I hope they've learned from enchantment because enchantment for some reason, like the, did not the covers of me. Disney songs, like didn't really do it for me. Like people yeah. singing Disney songs and throughout it and it wasn't even those too. people. Yeah. So hopefully they have like this nice theme sense. song. Hopefully it still looks really cool. I think it, you know, it was folky and very different, but I could see cool animations yeah. to that. Um, yeah, I'm interested to see how it yeah. actually looks with the fireworks and whatever else they have up their sleeve for the show. Yeah, it could work out. It could be a flop. I don't know. I feel like it's scary doing shows because I feel like they do a show for like a year. People like hate it and then they have to go back yeah. to something different. So I think Enchantment was for sure that. I mean, and I'm glad they're people, changing the channel. Yeah. yeah, I'm definitely glad that they are as well. Um, well. Hopefully they've learned from, Yeah, you know, the flops. So yeah. hopefully it's a good show. I, I hope so. I think, I think, I I don't know. I, I have, I have hope for it. Yeah, I like the fact that it's going to be focusing on, I think I heard that it was going to be focusing on like, Walt a bit too. And just like really focusing on the movies and how it's just like evolved from like, what he worked on into like the, you know, the wondrous uh, journey that it took to get to where we are today. And um, that's cool. Yeah. I, I like I when there's it. some kind of overarching theme that makes sense for the show. Mm -hmm. That's what was so weird to me with Enchantment because nothing made sense about it. It was like. It lacked the heart. Yeah. I don't know why. Like it was made for Magic Kingdom. Because it was the anniversary of Magic Kingdom. There was nothing about Magic Kingdom in it. It was covers yeah. of songs. And it, it just, it seemed very like disjointed. When they talk about something, right? Like for Magic Kingdom, we've talked about this in the past in another episode, but should have focused on Magic Kingdom just like Disneyland Forever did mm -hmm. for their anniversary and how like Walt started this in an orange grove and all this stuff. So yeah. this already, Those then saying 100 so Years of Wonder more. and it's going to be focusing on the animation films. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. There's a theme. You yeah. Know? So exactly. I, I dig that. Um, I love it too. I'm excited. I'm excited to see how it goes. The, the song, yeah, kind of like, we'll see it works yeah. with the show but might be cool we'll might see. be cool yeah um so this one we didn't even hear too much about like yeah at all. yeah so i'm excited i guess but world of color is going to be having a new show 
Um, World we of Color had, 1. Yes, it's called World of Color 1. I don't really know why I'm it's thinking, called that. It doesn't totally... <laughs> I heard some people saying, oh, like 1 for like 100, but I think it meant 1, like, like we're, we're all, one. we're 1. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that would make more sense. So it's going to be weird. featuring Coco, yeah. Encanto, Moana, Lion King, Mulan, and Soul. Um maybe more i don't know yeah probably that, more like, maybe that's that was just like what, what was in the concept art yeah so i don't think we really know much more beyond that but it is gonna be a new show don't know when it's coming but it's exciting i i love world of color and i've loved both of the world of colors that we've had in the past um i'm excited to see what they do with this one i don't really know you know there's no song that goes with it yet yeah. and we don't know like too much about what is coming with it but it's exciting for sure i was excited for a new show yeah definitely um and i'm a little nervous about it because i love world of color so much so yeah. i'm like you know but i i believe i trust in them i think world of color one will be great but yeah. with that we're going to head over to walt disney world we're going to continue on the show topic because this was big happily ever after returning they started with this um, to hear that theme again was just, it kicked it off right away. It I was, was so, so happy. I was like freaking out when they yeah. did that. I was screaming up to her. She was with her son at the time. And I was like, they're playing happily ever after. Yeah. It's coming back. Oh my gosh. Yep. So super that, exciting. We all know and love that show that's going to be coming back. Um, and the other news that we got for shows was that Harmonious is going to be replaced with a new 100 Years of Wonder spectacular for Epcot's 40th anniversary. Crazy. You know, Enchantment, a lot of people didn't really like that. But um, I know Harmonious, a lot of people, you know, really love the old show, Illuminations, a lot. So when Harmonious came in, that was kind of weird. But Disney it Plus was amazing. Did this. I loved it. I um, thought it was such a good show. We Disney didn't see Plus it in person. Did the whole like the live, live harmonious mm -hmm. thing. So they put so much effort into it. And then now they're replacing it already. That shocked me more than Enchantment going away. Yeah, yeah. Me too. I was really, I was bummed I'm pretty about that. shocked because I feel like both of those just came out. It feels like it was that much time yeah. that they were here. And then they were like, oh, and I was ready for Enchantment. Ones. I was like, okay, get away. Yeah, <laughs> like that was fine. But yeah, Harmonious, I was like, man, this is such a cool show. Like, I love that. I'm sad that they're changing it before we ever get a chance to see it. And I feel like the. Like a lot of money went into Harmonious. Yeah, a maybe lot. that's why. Maybe it well, was no, I too think much like, to like maintain. Well, but they built all this like, I mean, they'll probably use it for the new show, but they built these like new floats and these new like things and all that stuff. So it's like, why do you build that and then just throw it away? But maybe the new one will maybe they incorporate will that too. But them. I loved Harmonious. I loved the whole thing of like the different songs in their native language. Yeah. And then that, that special that was on Disney Plus just like, blew me away mm -hmm. so i'm curious to see this hundred years of wonder um show but i'm very sad about harmonious i mean maybe it'll be something where the new show is here for a while for the anniversary yeah and then they bring it back yeah i feel like I sometimes that. that happens i don't know i don't know i feel like they're always surprising us so <laughs> it sure. could not be the case but we'll see um so also Rise and Attractions got some updates. Yeah. Um, we already kind of talked about Tron that's coming uh, in spring, which is really exciting. We're finally, finally getting that after all this time. Um, can't wait to see how how that goes over. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, Tron looks amazing. It's done so well in Shanghai, but yeah. yeah, I love how a lot of these things are just like we already knew about them, but they're just like. And there's an opening date. Yeah. Like going, we'll like, just be like, oh, okay, out. cool. We've been but, waiting for this. Yeah. But still super exciting uh, spring. So we should probably plan a No, I can't go on it. Our son would be a pain in Disney World. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll do it at some point. But yeah, maybe yeah. not quite yet. Yeah. But also very exciting. Hatbox Ghost is coming to Haunted Mansion in Magic Kingdom. Yeah. That's pretty big news. I didn't actually ever think that would happen. Because I thought that it was kind of meant to be a very Disneyland specific thing, yeah. having the hat box ghost in Haunted Mansion. So you guys get to enjoy it. There he is. He's yeah. coming to you. I'm wearing my my new yeah. oh my, this vintage Haunted Mansion tee the from Park Up Tees. It has the hat box ghost in it. 
It has Madame Leota. It has so many cool um, scenes from it. So yeah, if you are listening right now and you need a awesome Disney Halloween shirt, this could be, I mean, this could be non-Halloween too. Oh yeah, it's perfect for any occasion. Use our code HAPPIEST15. Go to Park Hop Tees. Get this shirt because this is like we bought it like the second shirt they dropped ever. it on the site. We we're like, yeah, we're buying that. <laughs> and by the time this episode comes out, I believe they will have just released the um, actually, yeah, yeah, just have released the Fall. Walt. Oh, oh um, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I think there might be a couple of shirts in there too. But check out the Walt. This thing looks amazing. Just to so good. especially with the hundred years of really wonder want. coming up next year, guys. Perfect the man timing. who started it all. So exciting. So um, yeah, I yeah. definitely need to get that shirt too. But quick with little that, rabbit trail. <laughs> quick little rabbit trail. I'm talking about spooky things. The next thing that happened, Figment meet and greet. Um, yeah, we weren't cool. like the biggest fan of Figment <laughs> when we went to. Excited for all I you bet. guys that love him. I'm Excited that you get to you meet get him. Some Figment, I hope he's Figment nice and big, right? Like, I hope he's. Sure he is. He's just gotta nice be. Him. Hopefully he doesn't. Fart on you like he does in the right. <laughs> I don't think it's him farting on you, but I always just remember like going on with our friends and we we're trapped in that room and then there's just a like, whole bunch of farts. On? And I was like, why did we get a fast pass for this? <laughs> yeah. Why does in everybody our love this? Actually, maybe they should um, make the character do that. I feel like that would bring some excitement to the no. meet and greet. Oh, you don't know. He's like a ticking time bomb. He's like, like somebody's going to get the fart. You don't what know guess who's going to be. Get but... Um, <laughs> Yes, I mean, I would meet him, but man, people went crazy for those. I can't like, imagine how buckets, long so the imagine that would be. Like, yeah, <laughs> to meet him is going to be insane. And crazy. I will watch and be like, have fun, guys. I'll be going to some rides. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was, um, that, was an that was an announcement. That was an announcement. It was, it was. yeah. 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 <laughs> um, sticking with Epcot, um, we already knew about Journey of Water, uh, which is going to be that Moana attraction that you know you walk through and there's like a cool there's like cool water things like water stuff there's like water <laughs> stuff you know um so <laughs> that we already knew about but they gave a date which is uh late 2023 so interesting that it's going to it's they're still working on it they're still you know kind of getting everything planned out there um I don't the know cool why thing, it would I don't take know that if we, long. Yeah, I don't know why it's, it's, it's going to take that long either. But the cool thing, I don't know if this was mentioned before or if it was new to D23, but we are getting a Tafiti. Um, she's like 16 feet tall, and there's going to be some like cool water things around her. So that would be cool. Um, and we already knew about it. But sticking with Moana, this is the weird thing, was there is going to be a Moana section in epcot however we're going to be switching over to our our next and last category here that they talked about for uh disney world it's just their blue sky ideas that they're thinking of might happen possibility that it might not happen we've got some things that were canceled at the last d23 like the mary poppins ride in um epcot which i was really bummed about but they dropped some blue sky uh ideas and one of which is Moana in another park. But do you want to do you want to kick us off with this first idea that they talked about? Uh, yeah, sure. So um, we got some news that Dino Land USA and Animal Kingdom is going to be changed soon, which is kind of big news. Soon as in like. Like know. we don't like, know when, but <laughs> Disney at is some very point. Slow. Yeah, yeah they, they're not great at like knowing exactly when things are happening, but um. It's in early development, so we don't know exactly when. But we do know, as we were just talking about Moana, that that is part of what is going to be coming in that area and also Zootopia. So it's going to be kind of like split into two sections, I think. Yeah. I don't know how. I don't know what they have planned for those areas. If there's going to be like, you know, I guess there's going to be rides like there's going to be a a moana drop ride kind of like splash mountain-esque yeah where you'll like get wet in the concept art you could kind of see that so i'm yeah assuming that they're gonna go with something like that it would make if, sense if it comes to fruition yeah and then yeah zootopia not totally sure zootopia yet. i'm sure you know i think that they could change the dino uh dinosaur ride 
mm-hmm. to like something where you're in a police car tracking down. Something. Oh yeah, that right, would that make could sense. be good. That would be the fun. other thing I was uh, telling a Instagram follower though is that like the only bummer of that would be, I think the height requirement at least for Indiana Jones is like pretty high Mm -hmm. meaning that a lot of kids who love zootopia probably wouldn't be able to ride that ride well if it was the same type of ride system but if they switch it to something different where it's like it's a little more low-key they could probably lower the kind of like um, a monster zinc type where it's like kind of a dark ride but maybe they can make it a little faster or something i don't know could be fun, or just though. like keep the track of dinosaur or something. Yeah, maybe. and I think because the hydraulics on that car, like on Indiana Jones, could probably be tweaked to like not move as aggressively. Exactly. So yeah, they could probably do something like that so that they could be on there. So that would be cool. Um, fun ride. Obviously, they they kept saying during this panel. Well, one of them was like <laughs> saying, uh, "Like, I I hope you guys don't hate this." Or he was going like. He's like, I hope people don't get mad at us. He was like, kind of yeah. saying that a lot. I was like, it's like oh, setting really the tone mad. for it to be negative. And all yeah, like, it was kind of interesting. What? And they were just kind of like, this is very blue sky, very just kind of like in our minds. And we're just thinking about this. So it was really just interesting. Want to see people's reactions. Yeah, I, I told, I think, make it magical. I was like, I was like, it was almost like they were presenting ideas to then go on like message boards and see what the Disney fans were thinking about them and then be like, oh, should we, should we continue this or should we not? I don't know. Yeah. So like, why even announce it at D23? That is a huge platform to make announcements for everything Disney. Yeah. It's like crazy to even say something and not actually have plans to follow That's why they're like it. backing it up being like, oh, ooh, this might, this is very like uh, early development, but um, I'm a wanna, so we actually put this on Instagram, um, seeing if people would rather it stay Dinoland USA or go to Moana or Zootopia. I mean, in their talks, it sounds like they would put both of those together. But what are you most excited to see? And actually, Moana was winning out in that poll. So mm-hmm. um, I think a lot of people are wanting some Moana representation in the I parks because it's for amazing. For sure get it. I'm yeah. very excited to have some Moana because that is one of the best movies to come out in the last 10 years Definitely. for sure and i've yeah. been waiting for some more representation in the park so yeah. i'm super excited hopefully disneyland will get something at some point as well i know i'd be so I'd, I, we need it we need it for sure something um <laughs> such a classic out of the new disney animation films. yes for um, sure but speaking of <gasps> new animation films we got i think probably the biggest this, is, this is not really i guess news because we don't know if it's like actually solidified what they're saying here um, was, you know how we did that fantasy land expansion a couple years back. And we said, you know, what could live kind of beyond what we know currently as fantasy land? Well, they brought up the point of what, what is going on behind the mountains of thunder mountain? What could we see happening back there? And they brought up, Hey, do you think there could be a little village from, I, I forgot uh, the village of Coco, but they said, could there be, um, you know, Coco's village? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Um, maybe there will be a ride over there where you could ride an Alebrije in the land of the dead. Um, maybe you keep on walking and you find yourself in Colombia and you're in the land of Encanto and you could walk through the casita and actually open the doors and and explore to, you know, explore a lot of other things. So that was awesome. I was like, that kind of actually fits with the Thunder Mountain, like the kind of the, mm-hmm. that the region, you know, sense. it reminds me of like Arizona to like Mexico and like mm-hmm. all that stuff. And so that was really cool. And then they hit us with, which kind of is out of left field. They're like, yeah, if you keep on walking, maybe there's a villain's land. I was like, don't understand the connection don't know but why that villains makes sense land there? uh yes and yes. so in the concept art you could see very far back into that corner and they've been doing this a lot with new expansions by the way like I believe it's tokyo disney sea they're having a frozen land a tangled land and a peter pan uh, land all kind of within like many lands within a bigger land so mm-hmm. this is what i could see here maybe one ride or attraction per thing and so I kind of like villain. that. I like it as like if that's the only way they could bring those into it, I am fine with that. Yeah. For the villains land, it did look like, you know, 
it almost looked like Maleficent's castle and stuff like that. We don't have to elaborate on this too much, but the thing I'm going to say is last year we did an episode about a villain's park. That is definitely like, you know, not going to happen. But this, this year, is... maybe we will talk about what we would like to see within that villain's land that they actually yeah. talked about. Because it seems much more like reachable. Reachable like, than it's, a, it's whole like park, yeah. a whole park dedicated to the villains could be like a lot. But I think it's kind of perfect to dedicate just like a section of one of the lands to yeah. that. Um Really but weird. I hope they fit a lot. Yeah, of... yeah. I hope it's like a big section because it would be so, so cool to have that. Because you need a lot of villains in there. Yeah. Everyone's going to want to see their favorite villains. Oh, yeah. And there's so, so to... many favorite villains. Like, they yeah. all need to have some representation. I do feel like it's weird where the location would be if that's how it ends up working out. Yeah. Because it doesn't totally make sense. But, you know, if it... If they follow through with it and it happens, I'm sure they have some things up their sleeve that will end up making it very cool. Yeah. So we'll so, see. Yeah. And so if you guys are listening and you aren't currently following and you like this idea of the Disney villains, um, definitely make sure to follow on our podcast and subscribe on YouTube because I think this is going to be a really fun topic that we'll maybe hit in like a few weeks mm -hmm. as we're leading into spooky season with Halloween. So I am so excited to talk about this because this is something that's actually reachable. They actually yeah. brought it up at a D23 event. So it's like, how can we armchair Imagineer a villain's yeah. land? Exactly. And because we know it's it's definitely been talked about. So And it could be coming. So yeah. like... We'll we'll just have to wait and see what they do, but yeah. it would be fun to speculate. It would be, um, and so there was a few other things that we didn't, you know, we didn't talk about the movies and just a few things here and there, like some of the new Walt statues, which are going to be like really really cool. Because mm -hmm. I think I'm Walt needs to that. be in every park because it all started with him. You know, yep. I, I love that idea. But a, a couple other minor things like that. But we just want to thank you so much for listening to this episode. Let us know if you're listening on YouTube, drop a comment below. Let us know what your favorite thing, uh, your favorite announcement was during D23, what you wish you would have heard about D23. Um, if you're listening on a podcast platform, definitely DM us or like comment on one of our posts. Let us know your thoughts. We always love hearing your thoughts. And yeah, just as a reminder, if you want to go ahead and write us a review in our Apple podcast, um, hit us up screenshot that hit us up on instagram and we'll send you a little bit of happy sour on earth merch a little something little something in the mail a little fun you. thing for you yeah <laughs> oh it's gonna be great but with that we are so excited that you guys joined us for this week and we will see you guys next week we'll see you then bye, bye guys